I'm Marilee Rio. And I'm Elizabeth Nickerson. And we're here at the unveiling of the city of Hialeah's highly anticipated new art scene, Leah Arts District. Hialeah's new artists live and work overlay district is an area that will serve as a viable option for artists looking for an affordable, safe, and centrally located area for their galleries and workshops. Dozens of well-known artists are set to revolutionize the way we see Hialeah as we know it. The cultural and artistic footprint of a city is immeasurable and really what we're doing with this is laying that footprint and laying that groundwork for the long run in a way that is going to be so impactful and so potent that it's really going to redefine the city. With the support of the city's leaders and members of the Hialeah Cultural Arts Board, the first mural to go up was that of Hialeah native Carlos Junk Leonez. With the help of Paul and Megan and myself, uh, we're fortunate that you know we're able to fulfill that vision. It took a while, but I mean I'm glad to be the first one to actually bless the area. You know, the arts district was unveiled with a free block party of which hundreds of people attended. Visitors were able to enjoy live art curated by the organization Life Is Art. Also painting live was Ernesto Marange, who painted as a charitable effort on Ferney Coapel's vintage bus. He's doing a great job there. He's, he's painting on the bus. Listen, Hialeah, like I tell people, is a sleeping giant. This is going to awaken it. I, I, get, I just get that feeling. It's going to be awesome. There was music by Barrel Faction and a variety of food options, including food trucks curated by Burger Beast. I had some chicken quesadillas from the Taco Fresh. Good. Pincho Factory is just one of the vendors here at the event, and let me tell you, the best burger I ever had. Back to you, Mari. Why don't you guys tell me a little bit about the event today and how much fun you're having? The event, well, you know, I think it's really beautiful bringing everybody together to feel connected around art and community and food and music. This is really what life is about. It's so important, you know. That's great. That's how I feel. <laughs> You? Everything she said. No, <laughs> but I think it's really important just to meet like different people, connect people through the art and through just like amazing, beautiful pieces, and you meet so many different personalities. It's awesome. What I'm seeing, at least on an international level, is a necessity for art, not you know necessarily the development aspect of it, but just art. Everywhere I go, and highly is no exception. You know, with a little bit of art that we put up on these walls for the last couple of days. I mean, look what's happening. This event created a buzz on social media with the hashtag Hialeah Now and received a multitude of positive feedback. It's a full crowd, collective. Looks like everybody's trying to do something productive. I see the mayor over here. I like that. What I'm most proud of is that Hialeah being a city that has had been stigmatized over the years uh, because it's an industrial city, but being the second most populated city after uh, Miami, that finally uh, an idea of bringing something urban to the forefront has happened and some might call it gentrification but no one's leaving. You know it's a working class neighborhood, it's, it has you know working class roots, traditionalist roots but we have a vibrant people here too, we have, an, we have an artistic community as well. The Leo Arts District unveiling marked the reimagining of Hialeah's roots and ended with nature's own celebration of color. For Hialeah TV 77, this has been Marilise Rios and Elizabeth Nickerson.